Okay, at this time I'm going to go ahead and create a new file in Adobe Illustrator. So I go ahead and hit New, and I'm going to come up and I'm going to call this letter Y. Give it a name of letter, and I'll put an underscore poker underscore kings. And it's going to be a custom file. It's going to be a custom file. And I'm going to set the size of the NDF board that I purchased from a home improvement store to 24 inches by 22 inches. And I'll go ahead and hit OK. And there it creates my file. I'm just going to go over here now and place the letter Y. You can barely see it at this point. Just so I can quickly see it, I'll come down here to, to create a letter or set my letter size to 72 points. You can see it a little bit now. Then I'll come over here and I'll look for the font that I intend to use, which I believe is Poker Kings right here, regular. Okay, I'll accept that, hold my shift key down, and key in the letter Y. Now that's obviously way too small. But I'll scale it up just so I can see it a little bit better. Okay, there's our artwork. Now, it's now still a letter, but I'll right mouse click and I'll create outlines here in Adobe CC. Now what I'm going to do, I don't need the black, so I'll go ahead and set my default fill and stroke, as you see over here on the tool panel to the left. I'll click on that, and then now I'll come to transform, and my customer wants a letter that's 20 inches tall, so I'll key in 20, making sure that my lock here is set to constrain width and height proportions. I'll go ahead and hit enter and now it's raising the size of my letters to this height. Now, what's important is to kind of zoom out a little bit, so I'll hold my control, my Alt key down, and I'll use my middle mouse button, and I'll roll out. And then now what I'm going to do is go ahead and get escape out of that, make sure that I got the letter selected. I'm going to go ahead and hit my, do a control A, and select my arrow buttons, and kind of nudge that down to where I'm in the center of my board that I'm actually going to use to mill out this awesome looking letter. Now with that said, I'll make sure my fill over here is, is turned off so it doesn't fill. So now I've created the letter that I want to go ahead and mill out. I'm going to take this file now and open it up into Vectrix Aspire program and create a tool path. One important step you have to do is you always have to save your file. So I'll go ahead up here to File, Save As. And what I'm going to do is give this letter the Y letter, uh, Poker Kings AI, which is fine. I'll hit save. And it's not important as to what file format we save it into with respect to using Vectrix Aspire program for creating our tool file. So we'll just leave it as a CC file. I'll go ahead and hit OK, and it saves my file. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and stop for now, and I'll come back to, to Aspire in a moment.